The off-court battle for the future of tennis continues. A proposal for a premier tour from uh, tennis's four major tournaments and endorsed uh, by, now I'm going to say a lot of letters, U-S-T-A-C-E-O. Uh, Lou Schur could overhaul the sports competition calendar, uh, and the plan is an unofficial counteroffer to the recent billion-dollar commitment from Saudi Arabia's uh, sovereign wealth fund. Join us now, Katrina Adams, former USTA CEO, there are those letters again, uh, president and chair and a former uh, tennis pro. She's now executive director of the Harlem uh, Junior Tennis and You're Education okay. Program. Uh, she's in Miami Beach for the inaugural Racket X Conference, uh, featuring speakers, brands, and racket sports, including tennis, pickleball, paddle, squash, and others. Uh, and it's, it's uh, great to see you this morning, uh, Katrina. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. It sounds like fun uh, uh, down there, first of all. The, you know, the, it, here's where I'll start, Katrina. I, I think that it's undervalued. I think that's what we're seeing, it, whether it's the Saudis, and I, maybe that's not great, but whether it's Qatar and, and maybe some other sovereign wealth funds over there or uh, this Premier League. It, finally, it's being recognized that uh, men and women's tennis both undervalued, and I think this— and somehow this has got to be welcome to some extent, even though there's all the, you know, what goes along with a Saudi investment. Uh, maybe it comes from the premier, this, this other offer. Well, I mean, tennis definitely is at its height right now, where the men and women have been talking for years, perhaps about joining um, forces, uh, doing more joint tournaments. They, the many tournaments have joined over the years. And I think what you've mentioned with Lou and the Grand Slams and even the WTA and ATP, they're at least talking now about doing more together. So these offers that are now coming in, perhaps from uh, the United Emirates, uh, are at least talking about raising the value of the sport and of professional tennis. So I'm not sure where it's going to end up, but at least they're talking about putting more money and more investment into the professional tour, raising the bar. These players definitely deserve to make more money. Uh, they're putting it out there week in and week out, and we'll see where it's going to go. Would you have a problem if it ended up being the Saudis, Katrina? Well, for me as a woman, as a female, and, and what's going on and understanding um, the rules that they have, I mean, there's going to have to be a lot of parameters that go in place um, if it actually ends up over there. Um, you know, it, for, it's about protect, protection. It's about women's rights for me. Um, and it's about making sure that um, things are in place. I think for as far as the WTA is concerned, if it's a WTA tour that's going over there, I think the WTA has always been about change and about making a difference. And if there's somebody that can make change, it is the WTA. But if it's a collective effort of all the tours, uh, and the Grand Slams that are going in and, and making um, a difference and making a change. Tennis has always been that sport for equality, uh, particularly with the Grand Slams when it comes to equal prize money. So hopefully right. those kind of talks are in place. That goes way back to, to Billie yes. Jean. And, uh, you know, I remember when that was happening in, in real terms, but I was I was young. I was, it was a well, long that's been about prize money. So now we're talking yeah. about issues and, and human Everything rights. Else. Yeah, We'll see if they yeah. can raise the but there's the overhang from 9-11, and it, there's just so many, just like what happened with Live Golf and everything else, uh, Katrina. So I don't know how that, you know, tell, tell us about what you're doing down there. And, and this is the, the first time you've done this, isn't it? It's a Racket X conference. Yes, that's what I'm here for, the Racket X conference. And it's really about bringing all of these racket sports together. As you mentioned, tennis, uh, racquetball, pickleball, uh, paddle, padel, squash. Um, my sport is tennis. And so I'll be speaking later this morning at 10 a.m., um, at the Miami Beach Convention Center. I was out there yesterday. They actually got me out on the pickleball court um, to, to hit around a little bit. But I'm excited to be here and to listen to all these amazing people, these specialists in all these different sports. They have a lot of vendors out here that are talking about and selling um, so many amazing different um, ideas and equipment for their yep. sport. And so it, it's been really great, active um, activity going on and um, some great speakers. So a lot of energy. It's uh, it's warranted. A lot of special people here and thrilled to be a part of it.
Well, I'm just glad now I know there is a paddle and a padel because I just thought we I just thought we spelled it wrong, which is what we all you know normally do. But you know so what we talk about padel? That's the four the, the the glass walls and the short court, and paddle oh. is more like platform. So the winter sport with the screen and the cage. Yep. We have um, I know so that one. I didn't yeah, know so padel. that's why I'm trying yeah. to I, I try to to pronounce it differently so the people understand. <laughs> like me, uh, one well, is more you. winter sport, it. one is more of a summer sport. <laughs>